Hello students, myself M.D. Rizwan, I am faculty for Geography Optional at Vajiram and Ravi. I uh, will be dealing with uh, paper 1, segment of physical geography and segment of uh, human geography that is section B. So, at uh, Vajiram and Ravi, uh, we are having a team of faculties who will be teaching you the geography optional subject and uh, will provide you a hand holding as well as a periodic test <clears throat> so that you get a sufficient confidence in writing the answers as well as conceptual understanding of the subject. Today I will be discussing one of the important topic of the geographical thought uh, that is of chapter number 6 in paper 1 perspectives in human geography. So, in this uh, geographical thought, one of the important themes, if you analyze the evolution of the geographical thought, we get the concept of the quantitative revolution. The quantitative revolution is considered as a paradigm shift in geography. So, when the discipline of geography evolved, so there have been several contributions from different geographers and geographers belonging to different regions. So, we can classify them, the geographical thoughts can be classified as the classical geographical thought, we can classify it as uh, medieval geographical thought or it is modern geographical thought and postmodern geographical thought. Now, and uh, this geographical thought have been contributed from different regions like there were contributions from uh, Greeks, then there were contribution from Romans, then it was Arabs, Chinese, Indians, then it is European. Now we are having an American school of thought in geography. So this perspectives of human geography, this has been evolved over a period of time and when we study this uh, geographical thought from classical to modern, we find one of the important milestones in geographical thought has been the quantitative revolution. So, we will try to understand what is a quantitative revolution in geography. So, geography as a subject or for that matter, any subject will have two aspects. One is academic aspect of the subject and another will be a practice of the subject. So, academically the enrichment of the subject will be by the contributions from different fields, contribution by the practice, contribution by the experiences, contribution by research and so and so. So, the quantitative revolution was having a prequel and it was also having the way forward. So, here we can understand that what was the need for, need for the quantitative revolution and what was the outcome of a quantitative revolution. So, this QR is a part of academic geography, this is a part of evolution of geography as a discipline. So, quantitative revolution is considered as a paradigm paradigm shift shift in the way the subject is learned, subject is taught and subject is researched. So, what is the meaning of this? QR try to make the subject of geography more scientific, it tried to make geography more logical, it also tried to make geography more interesting. So, this will be possible when geography is converted, converted into a scientific discipline. This is possible when geography is converted into a scientific discipline. Now, 
it means that the how was geography before quantitative revolution so the period of quantitative revolution can be considered after 1930s after 1930s this is the period of quantitative revolution and what was geography before 1930 if you look at uh, the period like 1900 or the end of 18th century this was considered as the dark phase of geography what is meaning of dark phase this was identity crisis identity crisis in geography meaning is geography was not considered very interesting geography was not considered application oriented geography was not considered to be an applied subject so people were leaving geography they were not uh, they were not interested in learning they were not uh, interested in uh, opting geography as a subject in their graduation or post graduation therefore this period at the end of 19th century this was considered considered as the period of crisis of geography identity crisis why there was identity crisis in geography because geography was dominated by the religious dogmas many concept of geography were under the clutches of religion there was orthodoxy superstitions that were influencing the study of geography and literature of geography so what has happened in this dark phase or before dark phase the literature of geography has grown it was voluminous a huge literature of geography was created and geography has become more descriptive geography has become interpretative interpretative in the sense everyone were having their own definition own understanding own approach to understand the geographical concept this is like how we interpret a religion so if it is a religious text the interpretation of the religious text depends from one individual to other the perspective of individual determines the interpretation of the religious text similarly geography was also interpreted by different people in a different manner there was no standardization there was no uniformity so this led to the identity crisis of geography thus there was a need to revamp the subject there was a need to reorient the subject and that is known as this reorientation of the subject is known as quantitative revolution so revolution means it is a big change quantitative means it is towards scientific nature it is towards objectivity it is related to data it is related to modeling so what are the outcomes of quantitative revolution the most important outcome is the models we got models in geography mathematical modeling then we got principles principles related to the geographical phenomenon we were able to build the theories in geography or we can say more or less subject of geography became like a science it after qr geography appeared like a scientific subject so please understand that whatever geography we are studying today in 21st century this is greatly influenced by this idea of quantitative revolution when we study today any geographical phenomenon any human geographical phenomenon human landscape we apply the concept of quantitative revolution like we apply a scientific principle to understand the geographical phenomenon take example like cyclone cyclone can be treated as a system or you say slope slope is treated as a system or take pattern of migration how we determine a pattern of migration we can apply a law of gravity 
so there is a gravity model for understanding the pattern of migration why there is migration towards the large cities here we can apply the concept of newton's gravity that is the force of gravitation is directly proportional to mass similarly if the settlement is large if the city is large it is going to exert a greater pull towards itself that is why the tendency of the people who are living in other settlements around is to migrate towards such large areas so the outcome of quantitative revolution were this and finally qr helped in geography to become more more scientific in nature that is why we are having a present present characteristic feature of geography today geography is not treated as uh, humanities pure humanities rather it is considered as scientific or semi technical subject now this quantitative revolution definitely was based on certain assumption what are these assumption that it assumed it assumed that man is an economic man second it assumed that the surfaces are isotrophic surface isotrophic surface means it is uniform homogeneous surfaces economic man in the sense that the quantitative revolution believed that man is always motivated by economic incentives all the decisions taken by man are governed by profit the tendency of humans is to maximize the profit this this were the basic assumptions on which the quantitative revolution was based and then we are having also uh, that how it has uh, <clears throat> dominated the geographical thought but by 1970s we find that the influence of quantitative revolution has considerably declined so there are certain reasons for decline in quantitative revolution which we analyze with the concept of critical critical revolution thank you